Discover how the Word of God can bring a change in your life through the teachings of Bishop Eddie Addy. Bishop Eddie Addy is an assistant to Bishop Daniel Mills and serves as the resident bishop of the Kadesh. Anointed, energetic, and a practical teacher, the servant of God will inspire you with practical teaching of the Word of God that will refresh you, energize you, and bring healing to your body, soul, and spirit. Now, to the message. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the wonderful privilege we have to be here in your presence. Thank you for supernatural power that is made available to us because we are in your presence. Right now, send forth angels to minister to heirs of salvation. Send forth power to free your people from every kind of bondage. For where the word of the king is, there is power. Let that power be unleashed on our behalf. Let your word preached come forth with much conviction to help us change our lives to be conformed to the image of your son. Thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. How tithes activate the laws of sowing and reaping. The music was ministration enough, talking to us, instructing us, guiding us, and helping us to express ourselves before the Lord. I want to just continue on my series on how tithes activate the laws of sowing and reaping. And I'm preaching from my book here. I think somebody had decided to grade his land. So the machine is very loud. So make us loud also in the house so that I will dominate the machine. I think it's making the road. Is it the road or it's the, the land? Okay. Why non-tithing Christians become poor? And how tithing Christians can become rich. So if you are a tither, how you can become rich? You can become rich through tithing. Amen. You can become rich through tithing. Some people say tithe. Because they don't, the, 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 the tithe th, 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 is not coming properly. They say de. Their, their boy, their boy. <laughs> their man. Their mind. So, how tithing Christians can become rich? Oye Depo, the great, the man with the greatest, the biggest church in the world, which is recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. Um, said God told him that prosperity is not something you work for. It is a covenant. He said God told him that if you do your part, I'm also committed to do my part. Since then, he doesn't joke with tithing. And if you're a Christian, you have to accept this very powerful principle and practice it ardently and religiously and dogmatically so that you can also benefit from, from it. Actually, um, maybe I'll say maybe last year or two years ago, I can't really remember, but I was in Perez Dome, Perez Chapel, where Ajinasari had invited Bishop Oedipo to. I think it was a one day something, morning. He was preaching for the morning and leaving by the evening. So, I was there live. 
because I love that man also. And um, I couldn't miss his visitation to such a wonderful church. And I was blessed to be at the ringside. So I was facing him directly as he was preaching. So I was waiting to see, you know, when you see a man of God that you have heard so much about, you're always waiting for what is the new revelation that has come from heaven. How many have that feeling when you hear Ibenihin is coming to Ghana? You are expecting to hear something you have never heard and see something you have never seen. Is that not so? So I was waiting. And uh, I think the conference was on empowerment or something. Empowerment for success or empowerment summit. Empowerment summit. Hey. So he came on the pulpit, mounted, then he said, look, God gave him a secret to prosperity. When he discovered it, he screamed, I can never be poor. So I was waiting for what that secret was. And he said, it is the secret of tithing. 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 For those of you who say tight. But of tithing. And he preached for one and a half hours on why and how he practices tithing. You know, and as I was preaching, I was looking around and I could see that people couldn't believe what he was saying. Because it's like, ah. They will say, oh, but we also tithe. You don't tithe the way he's talking about tithing. You don't, you don't have that same understanding. Otherwise, you'll be as prosperous as he is. So I was watching them and I knew as he was preaching it that it is a valid, powerful key he was giving us. But I'm sure some people were disappointed. Because they were looking forward to some keys that they have never heard or some secret that they have never experienced before so that they can walk into something new. But as soon as he declared that it is tithing, they, I could feel the, the rumblings in the atmosphere. It's like, mm, 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 is it really? Eh? Oh, eh, is that all he's going to say? Ah, we've traveled and come out. Uh, you teach our tithing. Eh? I didn't the other we have been tidy in the church. But you don't have that same understanding. I took my time to, to sit down and listen. Oh, here's a, somebody who I think bought his second or third aircraft debt free. If he's talking, eh, I should be quiet. And I should stop thinking any thoughts and just focus on him and try and catch something that he's saying that I haven't caught. Yes. Somebody who said that he screamed, I can never be poor from receiving such a secret, which he has been practicing over the years and has declared that even when he sits in the car, he will ask the driver whether he pays tithe. And if he doesn't pay tithe, he will stop and sit down and get down. And even he will prefer to take a taxi than to sit in your car when you don't pay tithe. It must tell you that you don't have the same understanding. But when you sit in the car, you don't ask whether the person pays tithe. When you are beloved dosing, you don't ask whether the person you are beloved dosing pays tax, uh, tithes. <laughs> you have joined all these critical Christians who don't pay tithe and are just criticizing tithing. You don't pay tithe. That's why you criticize tithing. You are not a, an obedient child. You just disobey God and you do what you like. So when you are, when you, you are in the church, you just you, you say, hey, People are paying time. Hey, come on, man. 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 Look at how fat it is as he's bringing it. Then instead of focusing on your own obedience, you'll be focusing on somebody, the size of somebody's, the thickness of his tithe card. And you don't bring yours. Just talking, talking. Me, I don't have time for all these talkers and critical people. They have nothing to offer. Journalists, politicians, Christian critics, 
orthodox Christian critics, social commentators, people who just criticize anything they see on social media. We will keep talking. We will keep flying. We will keep talking. We will keep flying. Keep talking. We are flying. Keep talking. We are flying. Keep criticizing. Be there. Instead of lining yourself up and, 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 and deciding to be a proper tither and tithe first in your mind, in your head, that your coconut that is filled with water. Yes, drain the water and put some gray matter inside. So that you can think correctly and appreciate God well. Instead of sitting down thinking that you are the one who owns your life. Ah, look at their faces. Somebody is even listening to me. You are sitting in your car. As I'm preaching about tithing, you are squeezing your face. Look at your face. Stop squeezing your face and listen to the preaching. And stop squeezing your face. You call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. Don't know what you mean by Christian. You think it's filling a form and writing. Don't, don't change the dial to Joy FM. Stay right on Sweet Melodies. I'm talking to you. Yes. Every day criticizing, talking, talking. And, and as if you're a poor man, cry and you criticize. It's even unfortunate. But you don't even have anything to give. And you rather are talking. Somebody said that when I discovered this, he said, he went to wait on God for three days with Gloria Copeland and Kenneth Copeland books on prosperity. Have you done some before? Oh, Tihona, you are opening your big mouth. Look at my face and let me talk to you. If you can't see my face, just listen to it on Sweet Melodies or watch it on Facebook. Stop making your face and do, do, looking angry. You will wrinkle early if you get angry now. Don't say I'm insulting you. I'm straightening you up so that I can talk to you. When your father is talking to you and your hands are around you and you, are, you have a posture which is bad, he will straighten the posture before he continues talking. That's what I'm doing. Let me straighten your posture so that you can hear well. Look at some people sitting at their back. You won't clap. Clap your hands. That's how they're here preaching. <laughs> oh, yeah, Quarista. Unishi. Yeah, but tighter. Now, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, brothers, don't talk. I'm talking. Hey. Hey. Don't talk. I'm talking. Look, we want, we want to follow God and we want, to, we want to know him. Yes. And be blessed by him. I don't want God to be against me or against, he's against you and I am for you. We are laying hands on you when God is against you. He sees you as a thief and a robber according to Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 because you still tithe and you still offerings. You don't give the right offerings. You don't give the right tithing. You are just in the church. Call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. If you are Muslim, I will even understand it. You say you are a Christian. And you sit down in the church. You don't want to give tithe. You don't want to pay offerings. You don't want to give good offerings. You don't want to support the work of God. You call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. Shame on you. When we are preaching before you are not coming to squeeze your face. Ah, I'll beat you just now. Maybe if you don't clap, I'm preaching. <laughs> in the beginning, God created the seed in living things, giving them a mysterious power to reproduce themselves. So when you read the Bible, you see that God made all things, then he told everything, all the animals should give birth after their kind, after their kind. And for them to give birth after their kind, he put a seed into the creation so that even if you are whatever animal you are, there's a part of you that has been created so that it can be used to reproduce yourselves and then you will not finish. 
Yes. And in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22, the Bible says, While the earth remaineth, seed, time, and harvest, and cold, and heat, and summer, and winter, and day, and night, shall not cease. Yes. Shall not cease. So, day and night has not ceased. Today, now we are in the day. So, the sun is bright, it's daytime. By the evening, when it is night, it is coming. By yesterday night, it was night. And then the, during the day, it was day. Is that not so? And now we have met the day and the night will come. And it hasn't ceased since you were born. It's the same. So what God is saying is that day and night has not ceased. Winter, which is cold, and summer, which is hot, also hasn't ceased. Ghana, no. We only have what? Amatan and then rainy season. We don't have any... You don't know any of that. When they say winter, we don't understand what it is. You don't know winter. You don't know autumn. When they say autumn, when you go to school, they show you the four seasons. They show you summer, winter, autumn, and spring. You don't understand it because you don't know what it is. You have to chew it, Baba. Autumn is this, when the whatever, the fall, and then spring is when uh, the rain or something comes. And then winter is when it is cold and snow comes. And then summer is when it is all dry and hot. That's all you understand. But Ghana, we are, we, we, you don't even understand that one because you haven't been in winter before. Some people are in winter now. They are in winter. They are experiencing freezing temperatures. Minus three, minus two. We are around 35. <laughs> if you enter this type of snow winter areas and it is seven degrees, I tell you, some cold that will rip you eh? if you like, don't wear a winter jacket. One brother, he left Ghana and went. He thought that every place is like Ghana. So he was walking in town feeling free with his shirt and singlet. And suddenly the weather changed. And he stammers a bit too. He said, hey, oh, oh, so full. I, I, I will be on cement. It's a fancy brother too. I will be on cement. Hey, I'm going to the telephone booth. I'm going to ambulance. I'm going to call coffee. He had to call an ambulance. 911. 999. Come and pick me. What is the reason? I'm done. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. The ambulance came and discovered him in the telephone booth and they took him home. telephone booth for ambulance Winter has not ceased. Summer has not ceased. Heat. We are already in it. You see, they are fanning yourself. Even I've now brought a fan that occasionally when I'm feeling too hot, I will turn it on so that it can blow on me. Because I see people have personalized fans. Nobody here turns on fan to put it on me. Everybody turns it on on themselves. Turns it on on themselves. Those who are on my left are using. Those who are my behind me right are using. Behind me left are using. Hey! All behind. I said, no. Let me also get one my one fan. <laughs> In the area of fans, we are doing better. We have done better. Yes. One my one fan. Yes. Are you there still? So what God is showing us is that because this is the law he has set in motion, Cold has come, heat has come when it was around, I think, July, August. Hey, you say it's cold. But it wasn't, it's not cold. It's not cold at all. Ghana girls, Nayana, I'm not sure. This type of cold here is not cold. Your husband is there, he says minus two. He's suffering. Oh, cow. Cow, when I come and heat. Are you there still? Yes. 
then he says, since day and night have not ceased, winter and summer have not ceased, cold and heat have not ceased, he's also declaring that seed time and harvest has also not ceased. So now you think to yourself that this cold and heat, is it cold and heat, is this seed time and harvest, this seed time and harvest, is it for farmers? That's what you always have to, then you have to ask yourself that, does it apply only to farmers? So since I'm not a farmer, where is seed time for me and where is harvest time for me? The good question. Always ask questions so you'll be intelligent. And always think, take a time. Hello, don't talk when I'm preaching. Listen to the preaching when I'm preaching. Afterwards, you can talk, okay? Mm. When your father is talking to you, don't talk to your brother. Sit down and listen to the preaching. Yes. Say amen, say amen, say amen. You see, some of you, nobody shouts at you or corrects you. So you are just there. But shouting at is a normal thing in the world to discipline you and correct you and straighten you. Anybody in the house who tries, hey, 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 quick, agbana, agbana, hey, anagbana. So that you'll be a proper person. But you are not a good girl, you are not a good boy. Because where you have come from, nobody says, sit down. Nobody says, shut up. Nobody says, sleep at this time. Nobody says, hey, turn off the light. Nobody does that. You are just a free man. You are like a mosquito walking in town. That's why they die quickly. Because nobody is controlling them. Allow us to say, sit down, keep quiet, come, go, don't move, stay there. That is all part of life. And then you must follow such instructions for your good and for your benefit. It's part of your training. So when you come to church and I have to say, sit down, shut up, don't talk, stop talking. It's part of life. There are some churches you go, everybody, they, 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 children are crying. Everybody. Nobody can hear preaching. So it doesn't really help bless anyone. But I want you to be blessed. Because I'm preaching a very important message. Yes. So seed time and harvest has also not ceased. But it's not only for farmers. Seed time is not only farmers to the advantage. And harvest is not only referring to farmers. God has put the seed in all living things and living activities. So seed is not only groundnut seed or corn seed or rice seed or millet seed or tomato seed or pepper seed or onion seed. Onion, do they have seed? I'm sure they have something that is also is a type of seed. Yeah, seedling. They have seedlings. Anything that seeds or whatever. Yes. But whatever you do in life can also be a seed. Whatever you do in life. If you pass by and you greet someone, it's a seed. It doesn't look like a seed, but it is a seed. If you show kindness to someone, it's a seed. That's why when David came on the throne, he said, is there anybody in Saul's house that I may show him kindness? For Jonathan's sake. Because Jonathan, his friend, had sowed a seed of kindness to David. So when David became a king, he thought to himself, there must, the reaping time has come for that man's kindness. And Jonathan had died. Even though he had died, the seed was alive. And the harvest for the seed had come. And King David said, is there anybody in Saul's house who can take advantage of this harvest? And they said, oh, yeah, he has a son called uh, Mephibosheth. And he's lame in his feet. Because when Saul died and they were running out of the palace, the house, the house help who was carrying the boy fell. I mean, the boy fell from her hand. And then he became a cripple from that time. David said, bring him. He will eat bread at my table continually. Brought him. They elevated him. Seed of kindness. Some of you think that whatever you do, it doesn't matter. You are rude to people, it's a type of seed. You are sowing. You see, when you are not spiritual, these things don't matter to you. 
Look at um, first Cor uh, no, Romans chapter 8. Romans 8. Yes. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Yes, verse 2. For the law of the, the law of the spirit, there's a law of the spirit eh, of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So there are laws. The law of this, there's a law of the spirit. It governs those who are in Christ. Then he says, for that law could not do, what the law could not do, it was weak. God sending his own son, blah, 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 condemned sin, blah, blah, blah. The righteousness which of the law, which is, blah, 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 who walked not up. Okay. The righteousness which of the, da, 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 verse five. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse six says, for to be carnally minded is death. And to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So if you want life and peace, be spiritually minded, not carnally minded. Yes. So you have to have the mind. The spiritual laws must govern your mind. The next uh, is let me, chapter 6, Romans 6, verse 5, 5-ish, 6 for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Verse 6, Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin, verse 7, verse 7, verse 7. For he that is dead is free from sin. Okay, now a lot of things are coming before. But listen to this one. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that, uh, Romans, no, Galatians. <laughs> Galatians, I'm, I'm Going to Galatians and you have given me Romans. Galatians 6. Start from 6. Yeah. Let him that is taught in the word communicate. Verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also what? Reap. Sowing and reaping has come again. Then verse 8 says, For he that soweth to, the, to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that swear to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So you can sow to your flesh and you can also sow to the spirit. And tithing is seeds to the spirit. It's tithing. It's a type of seed that is sown. It is part of the laws that govern the life in Christ. That's why I say for the law, the law of life, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, the spirit, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. It's a type of law that governs our life in Christ Jesus. It's not for unbelievers. That's why they don't understand it. And if you're a Christian who is an unbelieving Christian, then you also not understand why we tithe. Most, a lot of Christians are shallow. They are not deep. They only think of what they will eat for the flesh. That's why you sow to the flesh. So if there's food for the flesh, KFC to the flesh, beggar came to the flesh, papa here to the flesh, papa here no more pepper because papa here no the rice is a lot. We are not boys and Ghana girls. We are so much good pacha. Therefore, maji emu be. Then they put the leg and the tie of the chicken joined in an L shape. Yes. You eat all the rice before he eats the chicken. <laughs> you are sowing to your flesh. The Bible says that the only thing it leads to is corruption. That's why you are weaker. But now God wants to lift you up and give you life and peace. Yes. So he says, if you sow to your flesh, you will reap corruption. So you are sowing. So what type of seed are you sowing? When you plant, when you uh, give your tithe, according to um, the Bible, why am I reading book? Chapter what? 2 Corinthians chapter 9. He says, now this I say, verse 6, he who sows sparingly, will reap sparingly. And he who 
sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion. That means it's not by force. Yes. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. As it is written, he scattered abroad. He gave to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Now, he who supplies seed to the sower. So he's talking about your giving as a type of seed. Even when you obey God in tithing, it's a type of seed. Even though they say the tithe belongs to the Lord, it's a seed. When you are planting it, when you are giving it out, it's a seed. Obeying God is a seed. Disobeying God is a seed. Gossiping about someone is a seed. And a lot of you have been reaping gossips because you have also been gossiping. <laughs> You gossip, always talking about people. That's why they talk about you a lot. <laughs> if you go and behave such that somebody's father pays money for you to go to London and come, and that child's school fees is not paid, it's a seed. You have used your bottles to collect somebody's school fees. Have I said something wrong? I, I, I didn't say it well. Eh? If you snatch somebody's beloved, it's a seed. You quickly went to sleep with him so that he will see powerful manifestations of your glory. It's a seed you are sowing. It's a seed. If you steal somebody's mobile phone, it's a seed. So you don't know it and you are not spiritual. That's why. One day we were playing golf and uh, a pastor, a senior pastor in town, he was also playing golf. But he wasn't so, he has started not long. So it's the game you may see is very easy, but it's not that simple. So he tried something and then some, there was another golfer who was an experienced golfer. He had been playing for a long time. He was standing by. He laughed in a way. <laughs> hey, who taught you how to swing that? This card is, hey, they can teach you wrong things. So, hey, this card is, ha, <laughs> ha. It's like your swing is not nice. Like, you are supposed to swing smoothly. But he swung B and then he moved in a way. It's like, hey. <laughs> the man couldn't, he was laughing at him. And our brother played again. He missed the ball. Then he played again. He went into the water. Then he just continued walking. And the man who was laughing at him had already gone ahead. We were playing now. When we got to a place, he crossed over to go and meet them again. Then he came back fuming. So he said, hey, why, what did he go and do there? So I went to tell them my peace of mind. <laughs> I, I, didn't, he said, I didn't appreciate the way he was laughing at me. Then he said, the man of God, he said, I have not sown that seed to reap it. You see, when you are not spiritual, you don't think about it that when something is happening to you, it can be from something you have sown. And when you are spiritual, it occurs to you because seed time and harvest have not ceased. So whatever is happening to you could be a harvest from somewhere. So you have to check in your background. Is there a seed I have sown for me to be reaping what I'm experiencing right now? I'm telling you. And God is showing us that tithing is a, when you obey him in tithing, it's a type of seed which also has harvest. And if you are not spiritual, it doesn't mean much. It's, oh, my tithe, I didn't pay. It's not a problem. I don't know why the church is whatever. I mean, when we talk about it once, till you are dying. And you see Christians, he's a student. He says he doesn't work. That's why he doesn't pay tithe. But don't you eat? Don't you put units on your phone? Don't you go to Papaya sometimes? 
Don't you go and buy beggar king. Where did you get the money from? It means somebody gave you the money. Now, if you've been papaya cost 20 cities and somebody gives you 20 cities, it means you can't go to papaya. I said if papaya the, or, or the KFC thing that you want to eat is 20 cities and somebody gives you 20, that, oh, then go to papaya. Tell him that you cannot buy the papaya because this 20, no, or do you tie to free more? It's less than the 20, so you cannot buy it. And you offer being kahon. Yes. Don't be ashamed to say that because you can't go to papaya with 20 CDs if it is exactly 20 CDs. If the Brazilian hair is 600 Ghana, eh, tell the person that if he gives you only 600 Ghana, you cannot buy the number of pieces you need because the Brazilian hair is exactly, it will be 600 pepe pe, pe, here. But if he gives you 600, you have to remove your tithe from it. And then when you remove your tithe of 60 CDs, you know, it is shot by 60 CDs. So you can't buy the Brazilian hair. If you don't think like this, you don't understand tithing. Recently, I was doing some work. Some guy gave me money. Somebody gave me a lot of money. When he gave me the money, I immediately thought to myself, ah, me, I was not even expecting this, so I'm removing my tithe from it. When I took out my tithe, it was a lot of money. <laughs> Because my percentage is not 10%. Bishop, what is your percentage? O 10 no kra un to me. Na me fa me de ne me ka ho. O 10% no kra o bre. So, if don't uh, let me tell you, if I tell you every day to be haunting you. Hey, Bishop Pra gives this percentage. Na me de me ma say, let me add some more. Na 10 no kra o bre. Na o de bi ba ka. It's more than that. I gave it out. I gave it. I said, God is yours. It's yours. Fully yours. You don't think like that. Oh, sorry, I saw the tithe and I say. If your auntie brings you dollars, ask for God, he doesn't eat dollars. And he just saw Konani in the cities. Now man, you bet 20 cities. He be, now he, oh, no, the asha. Meanwhile, who you can eat dollars? God is the one who can eat dollars. If you get dollars offering, you give tithe in dollars. We heard no more say. We are Ghana and we are one hundred. Unya is can only dollars. Why are you changing it to see this first so that as we bet in a jaw we nyaka kra also. Unya miye huwo. Yes. If they give you twenty dollars. Bring the two dollars pe, 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 to the Lord. And if you go and nanate, then give it an upward exchange because when Timini Nyanku point you know five point six and now five point five. Also you know six. You people uh, you don't understand God. Though. That's why you are so fringe. Hey God is like you, you behave, you treat God as though he's your junior brother. And you are doing chimpe with him. Do you know chimpe? Yes. How many know the game chimpe? Did you ever meet the game chimpe? When you are with your friend and you shout chimpe, if he has got some food, and you say chimpe, it means that he has to divide it into two and give you your portion. So if he's coming to your house, you see people who are doing this game, they don't eat in the open. They go and hide to eat because... If you are eating in the kitchen or in the in front of the porch and your friend is passing, hey, chempe, it means divide it equally. Me and you have that game, divide it, divide it equally. When you hear that, chempe, it's like, hey. Then you have to look at your friend and then draw a line. You have to make sure that the meat doesn't go to his side. So you are like chempe with God. God, no, 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 no. Chempe is only no chempe, no, no, chempe, no chempe, chempe, no chempe. It's like it does, we can't divide it because you didn't say it early. <laughs> uh, you won't pay at all. It's like you have to die before you, you take it. So anything you get, it's like, no, God cannot take some. No, I cannot give you that. No, I don't have to. Uh, da, 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 God is coming for my money. God is coming for your money. 
God is coming for your money. He says, even if I needed money, I will ask you. If he was hungry, you are not the one he will ask. So let's discuss now the laws of sowing and reaping which are set in motion when you tithe. Number one, you must plant something. When you tithe, you are planting something. The seed means you have to plant something. Seed time, plant something. When you tithe, you are planting something. Always see it that way. John 12, 24 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So, if you hold on to your tithe, it stays as it is. It doesn't multiply. If you plant it, the Bible says, when it is put in the ground, but when you put it in the ground, it disappears. It dies in the ground. Even later on, when you pick it out of the ground, you can't use it again because it's dead and it's useless to you. So your tithing is planted. Mommy, are you following the message? Huh? Are you following the preaching? Your tithing is a seed. It goes into the ground. Why are there nobody sitting here? Did they leave? They didn't bring anybody. Ashes, please. Please follow the instructions well. Right? Where are they? Yes, thank you. Yeah. All here. Or people have written their names on them. So when they are not here, nobody says on them. Eh? Where is he? Not in church. So, verily, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. Any seed you have, if you don't plant it, it's just there. But when it falls into the ground, the Bible says, but if it die, when it goes into the ground and dies, it brings forth much fruit. You are going to reap from your tithe. You are going to reap from your offerings. You are going to reap from the kindnesses that you are showing to people. You are going to reap from it. Next one. Number two. So, planting something is what you are doing when you are paying your tithe, you give yourself an opportunity to sow. You sow. You plant. You put something in the ground. You are not ashamed of it. You are not, even, even sometimes it's painful. But the Bible says when you sow in tears, you will reap in joy. That means that when you sow in a way that it pains you, you will reap the harvest will make you joyful because it will be bountiful. David said, I will never give anything to God. That doesn't cost me. So tithing can cost you. Look, if you earn 20,000 and people earn 20,000 and you are giving 2,000, it's quite an amount. But you have to give it. If you earn 18,000, 14,000, 15,000, you have to give it 1,400, 1,500. Hey. It's like it's too much for God. Ja, 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 ja. Number two, you must plant in good ground. Yes. Matthew 13, 8 tells us that, but other seeds fell into good ground. So it's not every ground that is a good ground. So what is a good ground? A good ground is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, bring ye all the tithes. 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 So, because people don't want to, they just say tithes. Tithes. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now here. So, right there you see, the tithe is brought to the storehouse. Not your storehouse, which is your bank account. Or your storeroom. Not your own. But God said into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Of course, God's house is not your house. 
Your house is your house. Yes. And his house is the one where he has chosen to put his name. Huh? Not children's home. You cannot decide where that home is by just going to an orphanage and putting it there that there are some orphans who are here suffering. Why should I give it to a church? The church already has money. I will give it to the orphanage. I'm sure I'll get more blessings from there. You cannot decide that. The storehouse of the Lord is his. And it is when it comes to his house, then it is determined what can be done with it. If you want to give to an orphanage, clear your tithe to the storehouse and take your money that belongs to you and go and send some to the orphanage. Are you there in the house or you've gone home? The storehouse of the Lord is not your storehouse. Let me emphasize it. It's not determined by you. Bring it that there may be meat in my house. His house must have meat. I think in Deuteronomy 26, he says that you will take, when you bring your, you take your harvest, eh, and you bring your tithe to the house, the place where he has chosen to put his name, where he has chosen to place his name, that's the place where you bring it. You stand before the priest. And the priest is in your house. The priest is in the church. The house is the church. The storehouse is the church. Yes. If the place which the Lord God has chosen to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of the head of thy flock which the Lord has given thee and have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul listed. There's a place God has chosen to put his name. That's not the scripture we are looking at. But yeah, you see that sentence there. That the place where God has chosen to place or to put his name. That's the church. Storehouse. And I'm the manager of that storehouse. As far as you are concerned. And if you don't trust me to manage it well. Then find another church where the manager. You can trust him and then give him your money to, to run it. Yes. Instead of just sitting in the chair that I'm a student, I don't pay tight. I don't have a job, so I don't pay tight. When you don't have a job, you still eat. Those of you who don't have jobs, sometimes you have more money than those who work. Oh, jihad, no, jihad, 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 jihad. You come to Bishop, you tell a story. You go to Mr. Q, you tell a story. You see Uncle Ken, you tell a story. You go and meet Eric, you tell a story. Then you meet your uncle in the house, you tell him a story. You collect 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20. 20, 20. You are more than an offering basket. By the time you finish, you see that you have more money than those of us who are working because 20 here, 10 here, 15 here, another 50 here, another 150 here, and then your rent has expired and you have to pay your rent, so another 200 somewhere. By the time you finish, you are richer than those who are working. And so because I'm not working, and that the money I have, they just dashed me. Look, look at uh, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9, he said, Honor the Lord with the with thy substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. All your tithing is on every increase. If they dash you, you tithe on it. If they bless you, you tithe on it. If somebody you find money on the ground, you tithe on it. I mean, anything that comes to you as increase, tithe must come on it. God deserves honor. He's the provider and He's the one who is the source of it. Don't be proud and think that it is from your own. Look at your beautiful face. Because men are calling you, they are texting you, whatsapping you, this one is whatsapping, this one is texting, this one is facebooking, this one is twittering. Everybody's attention is on you. You feel good. Ah. If you like, don't be a tight payer. Pimples will appear on your face. Big, 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 big like granuts. Then you see that the brothers do not mind you again. Look at your hair. Every day going to hairdresser. You feel like don't pay tight. A lot of you are even doing the uncut already. It is from non tight paying this thing that Onyami, you, small, small, small. Yes. Look at your face. The woman's hair is a glory. But wouldn't you have tight in tea? You are worse than a boy. You are down cats. 
and son all day. A ye now up for me not a daho to set a ye. I feel now, baby, the Akata tree. No, I'm not saying that if you cut down, cut all down, cut means that you don't pay that, but it's just a general example. Maria, bring your fan down. It's okay. Yes. We understand it. Chop money. Tell your husband. No, but you should find out whether the money is from what he's supposed to eat. Or it is from tithe. And sometimes they give you money, chop money, say, okay. Because when I've paid my tithe, okay, the rest is for me to eat. So if I, I'm going to buy something from the market or something, it's my own set buying, I'm going to eat from it. But Sometimes I can give my money money on uh, money on top of the pocket money. So that's a blessing for her that she must pay tight on. Don't argue with God, okay? You know what is your increase. Don't bring yourself like a brought-in paper. You are doing chimper with God, isn't it? Lord, no, 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 no. This one, uh, no. The person who dashed me has paid tight already. So, Lord, should I pay tight? Because me, he has paid tight. Oh. So, he has paid tight. And what he's eating is what he has given me some to eat. So, Lord, do I have to pay tight on it? Be there. <laughs> you ju just be there. The day God will stop that source, you will know whether you should pay tight on it or not. Whatever is your increase. Whatever. You know, you know your increase. So even me, when I see money lying around and I'm not sure whether I've paid that on, I just, look, because even as I found it, I was not even expecting to find it, so it's not even a problem. Look, if it's a small amount, like maybe up to 100 or sometimes 200, somebody say, hey, 200 per Irade. Hey. You see, I'm teaching you so you get to a place where you are not always calculating based on a rade. It's like, what is it? Bring my, this, my, this. $500 gets missing in your house. $500. Somebody will go to prison. Once we have not found the money, counter back. More bet them. Okay, hundred dollars. Five hundred. Yeah, maybe somebody will be killed. <laughs> no, you are going to be blessed to the point where even one thousand, when it gets missing, it you even notice that it's missing. If your amen is louder than your neighbor's amen, your breakthrough will come faster. By the 14th of the month, now to Tubo to check whether I have any loose money anywhere. Where have I? Can I find any coin anywhere? I find any loose five cities or ten cities or anything. It's like, hey, ain't in the mini <laughs> Hey, how do I get out of this house? You have to call your friend, Charlie me for Uba Baba. I know what you have, man. How can it be possible? God wants to bless you more than that. 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 More than that. More. Far more. You'll be giving offerings when they call 200. Oh, every day you give it. Not a problem. Every day, be a ruler, the home, paper. It's like, no. But but this morning, I've already given 
two cities. Why? Oh, no, I can't give another two cities. It's too much. Hey, then what? A, what a, is it the two cities I put you or the five cities? Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Ah, but where's the five cities? I've seen another two cities. So, hey, so where's the five? Is it the one I put in before? Oh, yeah, I put in a bigger amount before. Ah, God has tricked me. I have to go to them and ask for change. No, 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 no. We are not going to do that with the Lord. May you experience such supernatural blessings that there will not be room to contain it. Plant it in his house. God will show you that he's a bigger blesser than you. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? Number three. You must plant large amounts. Tithing enables you to plant larger amounts. Second Corinthians 9 6 says, But remember this, if you give little, you will get little. He that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly. 9 6. If you reap, you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. Learn to give. Some of you are too Armstrong. Ghanaians. Armstrong Ghanaianism. Armstrongism of Ghanaian Armstrongism and Armstrong Ghanaianism. Don't give. Every day thinking somebody is collecting something from you. He's getting something from you. You must always get. From the top to the bottom, all of us are beggars. Looking for more. Always. Government is begging. I mean, NGOs are begging. Citizens are begging. We have to learn to be givers and stop just asking and asking. Opening your mouth wide. Ah, every day. Hey, Eradie, my bow. Don't let me go empty handed. Eradie, give me something. When the white man comes. Hey, white man. Oh, and then the American Baganda. Then when you are giving your speech, you just tell them that, oh, your bomb say say America Fway, Ebe Kaya Niama Baba Y Road, no, a quina, a dan cry, echo kumasi. Ah, the man has come, oh, he's coming to visit. He thought that you are just friendly, welcoming him and everything, not knowing that agenda da home. Always looking for something, begging, 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 begging. Learn to be a sower. Be a sower. Be a sower. Be a sower. A planter of seeds. Pay your tithe regularly. Look, if you're a student, pay tithe. If you're a worker, pay tithe. If you're unemployed, find once something comes into your hand, locate that envelope and put it inside. No matter how much it is. Even if it is one CD. Pay tithe on one CD. I'm telling you. Don't say this. It's not me here. Oh, it's like Oh, but uh, tax system now. What Ghana cry now? Tax system now. We are below a certain income a year. Unchia tax. Tawo. Oh, nyango pon. If you are below a certain age, you you don't breathe. If you are below a certain income level, you don't breathe. You don't you don't you don't show appreciation. Don't use Ghana's tax system to, to apply to your Christian principle. Gratitude goes beyond Ghana's tax system. We are showing gratitude to God. All blessings come from him. If you're a student, your daddy gives you pocket money. Huh? You don't have to discuss with him that, okay, uh, so should I pay tax on it or you've paid the tax already for me? No, 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 no. Since they've given you pocket money, it's an advantage to you. Melody, do you understand? You have to calculate one over ten times what daddy has given and pay tight on it. Don't you have a tight card? You have a tight card? Yes. Mommy makes a mistake and gives you money that, oh, get this one. Say, thank you, mommy. Mommy, can you give me, can you break it down for me because I, I need to do something. Break it down. The note is 50. It's too big. Can you break it down? I need some fives. Do you have five, 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 and then ten, and twenty, twenty? I'll be happy. You use it. 
you, 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 50 Ghana they gave you, you take five. It's not for me. I'm learning. I am practicing from a child. Your boss tips you. Don't eat all of it and say, oh, this one is a tip. Or oh, my boss was just happy and he was dashing me money. He's not in it. Eh? No problem. One day you'll be there, no God is sharing long life. You say, Oh, we won't count. Long life. Long life with your uncle. Yes. Good health. Escape from diabetes and escape from cancers. No, no, no. Won't count. This one is in it. This one is in it. You are not 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 in it. Okay. Yeah. All go aside. Only these few people are going to be cancer free. Would you like it? Will you be happy about it? So, why do you want to do that butter trade system with God? You are taking your beloved to KFC because something small has come into your hand. Baby, are you there? Baby, baby, babe, babe. Oh, uh, this afternoon we can go to KFC. Eh? Oh, my mother just gave me some 200 Ghana. Hey, 200 Ghana. So you are going to KFC with your beloved. Have you paid tithe? And you, the beloved, to why you were Nimo? Oh, say, eh? the letter or oh. And you're also following. They say, oh, KFC, they are Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, so what time should I meet you? Where should I meet you? Me, I don't have money to take care. So should I bring an Uber? Yes, bring an Uber. I'll pay for it. You are paying Uber. You are buying KFC. Streetwise. What do they call the options? Streetwise. Eh? Streetwise, one and two. One, two, or three. Ha! Hey! You are calling for three. Streetwise three. Third option. One for me, one for the girl. Then you ask the girl, what do you say? I want milkshake. What flavor? I say strawberry flavor. Oh, excuse me. She says strawberry flavor. So give me vanilla, okay? And you have not paid title. No problem. You continue eating. Have you seen somebody with esophageal cancer before? Who eats and the food doesn't go down? Two days ago, somebody called me, was telling me that my mother had an operation. The, up, the palate between her, the upper part of her, the roof of her mouth, is open into her nostrils. So when she eats, it enters the nose and comes out. I said, I have not seen this one before. We don't go for home. We will be into the upper part now. Because it cannot stop. I'm not cursing you, but I'm just telling you the problem that the world can bring to you. Where is the water from? It's from you. You haven't seen a woman with the issue of blood before, eh? In the Bible, we are told the woman had the issue of blood for 12 years. It has to be Jesus to meet Jesus for it to go away. Go and 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 I'm not cursing you. If I, I'm not cursing you. If you read Malachi chapter 3, he, he, the curse is already spoken there for you in verse 8. Verse 8, he says, Will a man rob God, yet you have robbed me? He said, you have stolen from God. You have robbed in tithes and offerings. Number 9, you are cursed with a curse. You, for you have robbed me, even the whole nation. And you see prophets praying over people that God has cursed. Oh, nyanko pona wa kesi obi no dia o pese o yi kesi ni free honum. It doesn't go easily like that. No me bia e wo wa bra bom. Me no me bia. No me bi ne be free nyanko pona ho. No me bia me jina Jesus dinimu and the Jesus name whom we are calling no is the is also through him in him you you are cast and in him you are moving. You haven't seen some before. Inti na o tetu honum a o ye rough. God is wilder than policemen. 
When you're still on earth, they take you to the prison and they put you counter back and things. When God catches you, he doesn't put you in any prison. Be walking in town. Just walk. Then you, you, you feel some small pain. Be that doesn't go. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. You see, I will throw to no one. I be a seal throw to me. If God is cursing you, it's wilder than when man is punishing you. Wow. <laughs> Change your ways. He said what? When your uncle came to visit, when he was going, he gave you 100 CDs. Then you just pocketed that. Oh, uncle is the one who gave me. So that one is not God who gave. I will continue next week. You watch. Let me give you one last one. Then I, I can go home. The next one. Last one for today. Last one for today. Are you being blessed by this? Or you are just going home? Are you changing? Some of your seeds will be lost. And number five, some of your seeds will not develop. Based on these laws, you have to keep giving and keep giving and keep giving. Some of the tithing you gave didn't do anything. That's why the Bible says in the morning sow your seed and in the evening withhold not your hand. Mark chapter 4, Mark 4, Mark 4 verse 3. He says, some of the seeds fell by the wayside and immediately sprang up. And immediately sprang up because it had no depth of earth. Some fell by the wayside and the birds came and carried them away. Yes. These are the ones that fell on stony ground. And then when it sprang up, it didn't have much earth and it disappeared. It died. So some seeds fall by the wayside. Some seeds, when you plant them, it doesn't do any. Sometimes you are dry of faith. You don't believe. You don't have faith in what you are doing. So you just do it as a routine. You are just doing the. So sometimes some of the seeds don't really have potency in them. Some of them too, you were bored when you were given it. Or you were bitter against someone and you were praying. And God, the Bible says that when you stand praying, you forgive so that your father will forgive you. But you didn't forgive. So as you stood up to give your offering, Bible says that even if you remember somebody has something against you, leave your gift at the altar and then go and make peace before you come back. So there are some of you, bitterness, hatred, I mean, hatefulness is filled your heart as you are giving up and you give it freely. So sometimes your seed is given in the midst of all these contaminants. And it doesn't seem to work. So if you gave last week and that last week one was filled with these type of things, it didn't amount to anything. But today as you are giving, you are more understanding. You've delivered yourself from pain, bitterness, hurts and everything. And you are giving. So that seed is more potent than the one you gave. Is it clear or not? Hmm? Even husbands. When you are, the Bible says that dwell with your wives according to knowledge. So that your prayers are not hindered. <laughs> so you'll be a Christian husband and because you, have, you lack knowledge of dwelling with your mate or partner, you'll see that it's not working. Your prayers are not going anywhere. Hey, my God, the fact that you put your hand on your ear and scream my God, 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 God it doesn't mean that God is hearing it. Even if you to read the ceiling, it's just in your truth. May God deliver you. May God help you. See, I'm escaping. I'm going to be a tither. Regular tither. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. And some of your seed will not develop. Yes. Matthew 13, 7 says, And some fell among thorns, 
and the thorns sprang up and choked them and they became unfruitful. Matthew 13, 7. Yes. Some will not develop. Based on different things. Cares of this world. Pressures from different corners. So many things. Even some of you, the honor didn't come first. So it came like number 12. And God was not happy as he was waiting, 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 waiting. He was put at the last. Meanwhile, when you go and you are taking a trotter or taxi and you go and somebody crosses you, somebody crosses you, and you are never getting the trotter to sit in. You, don't, you are not happy. It's like you are always put at the back of the queue. Why do you want to put God at the back? So there are times when how you give is, 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 is fraught with all kinds of contaminants. It's too... Manya. By the time you are giving it, like we are not even seeing the giving. God is delivering you. And you are, as you practice tithing, one day you'll be speaking like Oedipo. I can never be poor. Yes, I can never be poor. I can never be poor. Now, when you even say you, are, you, are, you don't have money, it's relative. <laughs> I mean, some people they say they don't have money. I mean, I need five million. Missy Cassa, Nemo, you get the cry, like a cray naka. You'll be counting twelve thousand. Yes, Missy Cassa. And you, when you say your sika is finished. <laughs> Not even mobile money. Not even mobile money. Not even. And you owe MTN for the loan you collected you have not paid. But God is delivering you from every kind of debt and every kind of difficulty. You are blessed to prosper. Next week is prosperity seminar. You are blessed to prosper. You are blessed to be a millionaire. Please, those of you on this one, 12 chairs here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Please, it is Millionaire's Corner. I proclaimed it as my Millionaire's Corner. So if you are not a millionaire yet, then you are just a gate crasher for now. But if you are joining that group, then walk in it properly. Yes, students will become millionaires. Workers will become millionaires. A little one can give one million in the name of Jesus. Father, release financial power over your people as they honor you, as they practice the law of sowing and reaping. Father, may the windows of heaven be opened upon them and bless them. Thank you because you've done it already. Thank you because you've accomplished it already. Upon your head, Everyone with a background that you have nothing good to say about. Right now, I proclaim an exchange, an elevation above that background. Above that background. Your background can never define you. Let God define your life. And let the Spirit define your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, as you walk out of here, receive power to experience financial breakthroughs. The many seeds you have planted in the ground, in this ground, in this house, in this church. Father, let your mercy prevail over judgment. And have mercy upon whom you will have mercy. And spring a surprise upon your sons and daughters. And show them that you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. I know you've done it already. Somebody is getting into his own house. Somebody is getting into a car that he has never bought. Somebody is living in a house he's never built. Somebody has got a land he never bargained for. Somebody has been given a major bank account, a major boost in the bank account because a financial input has been made on your behalf because God has moved a man. God has moved a woman. God has moved a relative. Somebody has put your name in a favorable way and a certain amount is being given to you because of the seeds you have planted you will live long and not die you will prosper and not be a poor man you will live long in the name of Jesus receive the blessing of the Lord
Receive the blessing. Receive power to get wealth. You have borrowed and in debt for several days and months and years. But the Lord is saving you out of debt. You are coming out of debt. You are coming out of debt. You are coming out of financial tightness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Master. Father, we thank you for what you have done. Lift your hand and begin to thank him. Everybody open your mouth and thank the Lord. Lo shata kande idara gazuria. Rata kata kata ya gazu bende bere kabaria. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, ria basata ka. Marige to diri ya safari. Je pato kata na la mama. Mino moro lo mo shikete rebe, Santa bana ma shide rebe koria, Ramando moro lo mo shibarama, Menda bana mo si fredele bregele, Jesus, thanks a million, thanks a million. Lift your hand, pray to God. I want to be faithful in my tithing, Lord. As you bless me, I want to honor you continually. Whatever the blessing comes with, I want to honor you with it. I want to support your work. I want to honor you. You, all my blessings come from you. All my fountains are in you. So riyamashanda baraba, brakato koto akatanda, mini mini amaka parigezege, shela mo safani migeregia. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. We thank you for what you have done. Yes, Lord. We thank you. For what you have accomplished yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you if you don't pay tithe or you struggle to pay tithe. I want to pray for you. Come to me. If you don't pay tithe you, or you struggle to pay tithe, come. I want to pray for you. Just lift your hand right in front here. You, it's not something you should struggle with. It's like you are struggling with God to sustain you and to bless you and to prosper you. Maybe you don't pay tithe at all. Or you pay sometimes but you don't pay other times. Or due to your situation in life, you are unable to pay time and I want to say to you that from today God is going to rain a blessing upon you and you need to have a determination and a commitment Jacob said Lord I am running away from my brother I'm going to meet him but if you prosper my journey I will give you I will give you a tithe of all everything that you bless me with I will, I will give it to you Lord, if you prosper me. Lord, if you help me. That's the sort of prayer I'm praying for you. God bless them. Lord, have mercy on them. Maybe you've defaulted in tithing for so many years. And right now what you need is God to have mercy on you. Before a judgment comes on you. That you cannot even, able, you will not be able to reap it. Father, lift your hand and pray for God's mercy and for God's grace to help you in your time of need. Lord, I want to be able to pay tithe. Lord, I, that means that God give me a job. That means that when I have a job, they, they should pay me and pay me on time. Yes. That prayer means that you will get a job. That prayer means that somebody can bless you. That prayer means that regularly, somebody will give you something. Every month, you will be able to pay your tithe. For the next the next five years, ten years, you'll see yourself consistent. Even before you get a job, you'll see that the Lord has blessed you. Receive the grace. Receive the mercy. Receive the grace. Receive the mercy. 
ma na mo ra ma shata kadora daga ma papo katara gese yes lord rata koria ma shinderebe rima kapatoria eria ma shata rama kapa thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus father in the name of jesus i pray for all of us here Lord, you know our circumstances, our situations, based on which we have not been consistent in paying time. Some of us don't have jobs and it's been difficult. Some of us have nobody to give us anything, any time, any day. Sometimes we walk to church. Sometimes we, we have to just eat, sleep without eating. Sometimes we have nothing to drink, no water. We have to drink from the tap contaminated water. Sometimes we have to eat what people have eaten and left over. Sometimes we have to go to restaurants and clean the restaurant before we can get something to eat. Father, right now look upon these ones. Look upon your sons and your daughters and Father, show them mercy. Show them kindness. Show them grace. Grace in their time of need. Yes. Shower jobs. Lord, our economy is difficult. Politicians and Leaders of our economy have not led us in a way to prosper the nation, to create jobs for graduates, jobs for technical graduates, for those who have finished HND. Lord, they have no jobs. But right now, I pray that you look from heaven and open the windows of heaven and let there be jobs for your people and let there be cash for the people and let there be money to bless them in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from becoming thieves. Deliver them from becoming vagabonds. Deliver them from running away from your presence in the fear that you will catch them. Save them, oh Father. Prosper their jobs. Prosper businesses that are represented here. Businesses that are based on contracts that the government should give but are not given to them. Let a door be open. Let a door be open. Let a door be open. I know you can do all things. Therefore, do it for them and help them. People whose parents have lost jobs and have no money in the house. Homes where there's no food to eat. Father, I pray that there'll be a breakthrough. Let there be manna from heaven. Let there be somebody that will take up this family and help them for the rest of their days. Thank you for your mighty hand. May our daughters never give their bodies for money. May our daughters never submit their bodies to other men to use them before they can get something to eat deliver our daughters from giving their bodies before they can rent an apartment deliver our daughters our daughters from wicked and unreasonable men who will just use their bodies and misuse them to give them peanuts save them oh God give them proper jobs Lord give them jobs where the bosses will not demand sex give our students good grace so that lecturers cannot intimidate them. Bless them, Lord, and open the doors for their prosperity. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Clap for them. Clap for God. Clap for Jesus. You may go back to your seat. The Lord bless you. The Lord help you. God bless all of you. Go back to your seat. Go back. Go back. God bless you. I laid hands on a few people for all of you. God bless you. You are blessed. The Lord favor you. She will never give up your body for somebody to give you 200 cities. Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Oh, please stand. We have not closed. We are just about closing, but not yet. Father, bless your people as they prepare to go home. I want to pray for you here today if you are not a born again Christian. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, I want to pray for you. Wherever you are standing today, I want you to lift up your right hand. Pastor, I want to be born again. I want to give my life to Jesus. Before you can even give your money, when your life is not given, it's not easy. But let Jesus take over your life. God gave his own son for us. 
he gave him. Also love the world that he gave his only begotten son. That is why he can call on you to give your money. Call on you to give your house, even your car. If you are here today, pastor, I want to have a personal relationship with the Lord. I want to be born again. I want to be a Christian. I want to be serious. Wherever you are standing, lift up your right hand. I want to pray for you. Somebody invited you, but you shouldn't leave this room without giving the, your life to Jesus. God bless you. I see your hand. I see so many hands going up. So many of them. So many of them. Lift up your hand. Lift it up. Let me pray for you. Only a prayer can help you to change your life. Father, I thank you for every hand that is lifted. Lift it up high. Lift it up high. If you have lifted your hand, come to me right in front here so I can pray with you quickly. Oh, clap for them as they come. Join the clapping. Join the clapping. Join the clapping. 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 Say. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Please forgive me for all my sins and wash me. Close your eyes and pray and wash me with your precious blood. Wash away all my sins. I have done many bad things. But today, have mercy on me and forgive me. Jesus Christ, please write my name in the book of life. From today, I will live for Jesus. And from today, I will follow Jesus for the rest of my days. Thank you. Write my name. My name is, mention your name. Write my name in your book of life. I'm yours forever. Amen. We believe the word of God has come to you and you have been blessed by this sermon. Subscribe to this channel and get notified about every video posted.